Hi, my name is Alex and I'm a student at Tufts University in Boston and I'm taking, I'm here in Salamanca for the fall 2010 semester, actually just finishing up the semester. So I'm here going to talk a little bit about what it's like to take classes through the University of Salamanca and the whole process of registering. So to start with, registering for classes in Salamanca at the University of Salamanca is a lot harder than I'm used to at home. It's kind of a challenge to get their web page and find the class you want. Um, they're all divided by facultades, so you have to find the facultad that your class might be under. But for example, there are some things like anthropology where the actual class you can find in a different facultad, or sometimes they're listed under more than one facultad. So just to find the class sometimes ends up being a, a challenge. Um, also, working it into your schedule, since the classes kind of have weird schedules or in terms of working in with IES schedules or because one's on one campus and another's on the other, because there are two campuses, there's the old campus and the new campus, which I'm sure you've heard about. Um, so when you do that, it kind of ends up being a fairly limited section of classes that are available depending on what faculty you're looking to take the classes through. I'm a sociology major in the States, so I decided I want to take a class for my major here. Um, so that turned out to be a little bit of a challenge because the Sociologia department is a little smaller than some of the others. Um, the Filologia department's huge, and most people who were looking for classes in that had a fairly easy time. I really like the Sociologia class I ended up picking, um, and it's on the new campus, which is the campus de Unamuno. And so, but to find that class, it was a little bit of a hassle. And I did go through, at the beginning of the semester, I think I sat in on at least five or six classes before it all ended up working out. Um, but the first few days are kind of difficult because you're getting used to being in Spain, you're trying a new class, it's in Spanish, which is a little intimidating. Um, but you go from there and, you know, don't get into too intimidated the first day because the teachers really are there. A lot of them are very nice. You do have to go up and talk. And I was unlucky enough to have a few professors who told me they weren't willing to put, change the exam today or to really just dis discourage me from taking their class. So you have to find a professor who's willing to work with you and be considerate of the fact that you do need to take the exam early and you will need um, a little bit of extra support, perhaps. So I ended up taking two classes at the university. Um, one in the Sociología department, which is again my major, and uh, that was a class in segundo cuatrimestre, or segundo curso, which means it's the second year, and it was actually tercer cuatrimestre, which means it was spring semester, because the even, or sorry, fall semester, the even ones are for the spring and the odd cuatrimestres are for the fall. So I then ended up in the Sociología class, which is a class that had recently been remodeled for the Plan de Bologna. So it models a little more closely with the classes we have in the U.S. where there's assignments every couple weeks, you have readings, there's more of an expectation of participation. Um, and so every two weeks I had to turn in, basically I had to read a sociology text and then turn in uh, lectura, uh, notes on the lectura, which is consisted of about a dozen questions that I would type out. So. It reminded me a lot of my class, some of my classes I had at school. Um, whereas my other class was had not been kind of remodeled for the Palan de Bologna, so it mainly consisted of the professor lecturing the whole time, which was a very different experience and really requires a lot more attention, especially because it's in another language. You have to make sure you get the important parts. And whereas in English, if you daze off a little, it's not as big of a deal. In Spanish, you have to make sure you're paying attention to make sure you get the important notes the whole time. Um, so that was, that was an interesting transition. And both, both of these professors were very kind and very understanding of the fact that I, you know, I was a foreign student, I had to take the exam early, um, which was helpful. And then, so I'm actually studying for one of the exams right now, which is um, exciting stuff. But it really, you know, they, they were very nice about it. And you, they, you can go to their office hours, they have tutorias. And so you can go and talk to them about how you're doing in the class or um, get notes or suggestions for books or outside sources in case you need extra help. So yeah. that's uh, about it. I have all I have to say.